guys, my YouTube family, I know I look like shit. I've been through shit. And it was just instincts, guys. Instincts, okay? Um, I had a company uh, before Christmas. If you go back to my videos, I don't know which one because my head is not right right now. But um, I'm in New Jersey. I flew to New Jersey, $89, okay? Was paid for my flight. And that's all I, I had. I made it, no baggage, no nothing. Uh, just something just was clicking in my mind, okay? With a loved one. And I can sense something was wrong. And this person is just like me. No matter what you're going through, you don't, uh, you don't say it. You just don't want to, just like me. I don't like to bother anyone. I don't care what I'm going through. I'll just try to make it work. But something was just kicking in my brain and, and I couldn't sleep. And I knew something was wrong. And when something is wrong, it doesn't fail. It's a loved one. So this was a true, uh, it was a flight. And I thank God. Um, I did make a post, look into the, my community page. Please go to my community page. Uh, you, will see, you will see a picture there. Um, and I picked up, I just want to explain about these cups. I got a, um, quick check. This was, uh, almost $9. I thought it was just a silver, big, huge cup, right? Aluminum cup. Because there is nothing to heat up, nothing, okay? Due to that, while I was in Florida... Stuff was taken into uh, storage here. Not much, guys. Not much, but, you know, you start little and then whatever. So you try to keep minimalist. Minimalist. So I, I, taught, I taught, you know, this person to keep it simple. Because if you ever have to run out, you don't have to worry about humongous stuff like I had. Um, and everything was left behind. That's a loss of money, guys. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's uh, it's sad. It's very, very sad. And some people don't care. I have family members. I have uh, their uh, siblings that don't visit, don't call, don't check up on nobody because they have it rolling. I don't bother with them, okay? But I'm always there if I'm needed, okay? Um, guys, I don't even know how to explain this. But I just decided to just fly out here. No baggage, no nothing. The same clothes that I'm wearing was what I got here with, okay? Because you know how TSA checks everything? And my medication, my, my backpack, you know, medication that I take, my blood pressure and anxiety and whatnot. Well, my anxiety was off the roof, okay? So I want to explain to you about these cups. These cups are what you see there, okay? I'm able to make coffee. Because the little bit of pots and pans that were here, they were taken to storage before I even arrived. I arrived to a shocking situation. Nothing was said to me. But I have strong instincts. Thank God for my instincts that never fail. I think I said it on my videos. It never fails. So this came in handy. So I wanted to share it with you. Right now, I'm, in a, I'm in like in a camping situation, shit hit the fan situation. I would say that this is a really shit hit the fan situation as I'm going to show you along. Um, that if you don't have any other sources, okay, now this stove is on with three burners because that's what we are being warmed up with, okay, due to the fact uh, he was floating. And before the flooding, the heat just went out, and it needs to be replaced. Uh, we're not going to wait around for that. And I just wanted to show you how I've been making my coffee, because 
I did, um, we did go out and, um, got me a coffee. And the coffee was close to $4 for a cup of this size, okay? The, the small one was practically maybe 50 cents less. So, there was coffee here. There, this just a little bit of groceries, really not much of anything here, too. But, with the small budget um, that this person has, because I don't have a damn thing, uh, we are gonna, we make, we're making it work, and we'll be headed out of here hopefully today, okay, today is, uh, a Thursday. So, I want to show you guys that it's, nothing is impossible if you, I mean, I'm a camper, so we campers, we preppers, okay, thank you to the prepping community, I love the hell out of y'all, and my new subscribers, thank you for joining over banning. Now, I haven't done any camping or anything like that to show you because that is what I love to do. Due to my relocation, due to my previous um, bad encounters, uh, situations, okay, and starting, well, I had to come back and I, I spoke to the person, I said, you know what, I've been through this when I was in my young days, starting, you know, on my own and whatnot. It's not easy, um, and uh, you just move on, okay? So, while this person came over to visit before Christmas, I can read, I can read right through people, and um, I said, you know, something is not right. Just something is not right. And thank God that he directed me to take that flight and thank God that it was $89 otherwise I wouldn't be here right now but it was paid for um, and I'm doing this because I am out of funds okay we just have enough to drive the vehicle that was flooded within the um, right next to the Robinson River guys okay um, the central New Jersey somewhere. I don't even know where the heck I'm at, okay? I've never been to this side of the... It's beautiful city, but they are... That Raritan River runs all over the place. Okay, so this is how I've been making my coffee, guys. I just take an extra cup. I wrapped up a, uh, a coffee filter. I put a uh, rubber band on it, okay? Uh, let me just place it over here, and I'll see you what how I, I do this. So, this is how I make my coffee. Just gonna take this. Just to get it out of here. All right, guys. Oh, shit. See? Gotta be extra careful. Now, this didn't happen during my other coffees, but it happened today. But let me turn you around, guys, so you can see um what i've been doing as far as my making my coffee because you know aiden needs coffee in the morning um it's about eight something in the morning um the car is in the shop and tonight we're getting another rainstorm the river's already. I will show you. I'm gonna go outside. I haven't really looked down that Raritan River, which is right next to the garbage cans, and where I am at right now. And uh, I'm going to show you. So what I do is I take this and I start pouring it into the coffee with the. I put it into the sink the sinkhole, okay? You know the sinkhole drainer, and I just start pouring little by little. And then with the spoon, I just shake it around. Guys, things in life happen. Um, things you cannot avoid. Um, you know, I, I, 
if this person works their buns off, okay, um, many hours, pays, <laughs> I don't want to know, guys, the rent here, and this is, uh, like the fourth time that this has happened right here, but you just can't pick up and go and say, oh, well, just move elsewhere. Uh, because now you need money for renting another place, okay? So, guys, I just keep stirring it until the water, the coffee water goes down. Because the grinds will let me stop it from going. But this coffee cup is hot. So, guys, this is how I've been making my... Okay, it's draining. There we go. Because, uh... There is no no money to be at at quick check or nothing like that to get coffee. So now you take the rubber band off. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to take my coffee cup out. I am going to rinse the rubber band. So rubber bands are handy, okay? Um, aluminum cups like this, uh, they're handy to have. So that you know, I thought about my camping times. I made coffee, and it wasn't like this, you know. I always had a um, a butane stove and whatnot and whatnot. Um, this is a primitive camp uh, camping in uh, in a apartment. And we've been heating ourselves up with the stove and an electric heater because if you plug anything bigger, there is two heaters. One is bigger than the other, but it blows the fuse boxes right out, okay? So it is what it is. So you have to sleep bundled up and you have to, oh, um, water pipes froze. No one is around to fix a damn thing, or they don't know want to fix it. This is not new. This has been going on, and there's nothing you can do when a landlord refuses to repair. So, just pour my coffee creamer because, um, we got a box of this because uh, the milk would spoil due to the fact that ice would melt. Um, ice is more expensive than getting the creamers. And I couldn't find a powder creamer, which was cheaper. But no, everything here is very expensive, guys. So I have me a little bit of coffee here. Okay. Now this is washed. We'll put this to the side for later. And uh, just about a quart. I could have more coffee, but no. Um, just make a little. It's okay. Just to get something hot in my stomach in the morning for my blood pressure pill and my aspirin. Baby aspirin. Um, I don't have my mic with me because this is something that just... Uh, just had Ada, had to go. Great, tastes very good. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this in the garbage. We have a garbage bag here. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn you around and tell you what's the next step to this coffee because once you put that creamer on, uh, the coffee gets cold. So this is how I Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about the camera. I don't have a tripod. Like I said, this is an em this was an emergency uh, basis travel. Okay, trip. Uh, I'll leave it like that. Okay, y'all know it's the burners. So I place it back into the top of the burner uh, for about a minute, and I have a a hot cup of coffee. Um. We've been munching on um, cold cereal, and we're able to make some hot cereal on these cups. 
with water and creamers, okay? Um, and today's Thursday, um, the uh, um, vehicle that was flooded <laughs> is the one we're heading back into. Uh, we ran it for some hours. Uh, for two days, okay, we, we just ran it all over, made sure that, you know, it's fully functioning. Um, the only thing is the uh, um, seat belts uh, sensor light is on. Um, the car was elevated from the muffler, was elevated from the water I had to swim into to get to the back to see the how high the water was on that vehicle and it was it was um, it was high enough to have water come into the bottom side of the door when you open the door to get in there um, and then we it wasn't movable no way um, but five hours later the water started going down a river started uh, even the the road, okay, uh, it was the road was higher than the the back area, but what you're gonna see is going to shock you. God is good that did not mess up the vehicle totally, okay. That was our main concern. We were stressed the hell out, okay. I was stressed the hell out. Um. So guys, this is what we are warming ourselves in. Um, staying warm between that, between the stove and a small heater. So these electric stoves with these um, the hot burners, okay? They 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 work they work wonders because um, you know in this emergency situation, you can warm up the area. Uh, pipes are frozen except for the sink okay so you know how we um, how we are getting washed up right um, if all you have was your kitchen sink or hot water running and leaving it drip okay um, then you know how Ada is taking uh, wash-ups right In the shower, water does not drain down either. So this is why the sink is the everything right now or until today, um, God willing, okay? Um, once the vehicle gets back, uh, we'll be loading a couple of bags of clothing um, and two heavy blankets that um was purchased at walmart okay um uh, because it wasn't kicking the ones that we were using so uh there is some food and, and little tubs and stuff and a bag with coffee and whatnot and so you know it's usable we're not going to throw the food away um we're going to take that along to my home base and um and then take it from there on okay uh to make someone else's life better at least closer to persons that care um that's the only way to put it siblings out here they don't call they don't visit they don't check so because of I don't know what, you know, everybody has a different head, but damn, closest um, family should always stay in contact, okay? But it's not that way, okay? It's not that way. Um, maybe they envy because of the type of job or, but it doesn't matter what type of job you have. Um or what you're doing because there is a lot of bills involved for one person 
and then to have these flooding issues and water that stops running frozen pipes water will stop running in pure summer so this has been going on for four months okay these conditions in four months no answers to repairs and this person travels to share some time uh, out of state and play it off like nothing's going on but i could just read through here something is going on so i'm on a unplanned mission thank you jesus okay i am saving a life because in this situation a person can be capable of a lot of things because they find themselves lonely no one to help no matter your your friends are the washingtons you have in your pocket if you don't have any like me then i um i have me i can i know how to get around and do things because i'm older i'm uh, more experienced i've had experience bad experiences in life i've been through bad situations i've had many apartments um but at least i had you know somebody in the neighborhood that would give me a plate of food or that one would cook you know hey i made this you know because that's the way it was when i had it good and they kept it like that but some friends are not like that some friends are like oh my god while you're good and doing good yo man they blow your phone you know they they want you to come over or they'll come from wherever the hell or even from close by or why not and even the neighbors don't communicate so what do you do you're on your own in a situation like this a person is capable of anything because i may i have experience and not because i try to do anything stupid but a person can do stupid things um with their mind because the mind will play games on you and you think that you are lost you won't have no one like no one cares you understand what i'm saying guys okay so i'll leave it to your imagination well you know what god put me here for a reason and that's that will not never happen and thank god it never happened and that was another thing on my mind that made me come out here and i run into this okay bad situation i thought i had it bad in, in my life but guys this is bad okay this is bad and you know it's nice and hot so we have our wash towels and our our towels and um, I had a talk, and no, you're not alone, okay? Till my last breath, I will crawl, walk, okay? If the immigrants walked from all the way south to the border, I will walk from home base to New Jersey if I have to, okay? Um, like I said, to, until I take my last breath. Then you are your own. So guys, um, it's only a few bags of clothing, and um, I'll show you just just two bags of food, a tub with some rice, and I want to show you somebody special. Can you imagine who it is, guys? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to take you over there because uh, <laughs> it's too comfortable. Guys, I appreciate any help. My cash app is there. Um, okay, there she is. Guys, I'm gonna turn you around. Excuse the camera, guys. This is not a, you know, a, a, a... guys, look who's there. Look who's there, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, she has a sweater, but um, 
I know how these stoves work, so I lit it up. That heater doesn't kick it, and it blows the fuses, okay? The fuse, so you have to reset the fuse out or downstairs somewhere. I don't know, guys. Um, until we figured it out that um, you cannot have the heater, and some of these plugs will just blow out. So, guys, um, I had quit smoking for five days, guys. Yes, yes, Ada had quit smoking. And um, my anxiety went up so far. Um, and I'm mad because no one communicates with her. You know, immediate family, which is, you can count them with your fingers. And that's very sad because you can have everything today. You can have the greatest job. I mean, before I got here, um, two weeks notice of the job was already given. Hopefully uh, the transfer or until that takes effect from to another state, it's a process. It's like doing backgrounds and even though it's clean, but you know, you still have to go through the whole process of the state police um, fingerprinting and all of that mess. That takes months. That'll take at least six months. But um, this person does uh, Instacart, Uber Eats, whatever it takes until that, you know, goes through and or something else down the line that will bring the money. And um, then my um, landlady, Realty, I spoke to her and she is going to help to find, okay, a nice place, reasonable, um, for a starter, okay? Now, I got my check Wednesday, guys. My check is rent, okay? My auto insurance, uh, my phone bill, okay, and my internet. And maybe like $150, I would say, left in my name to the following month so i i i you know i i bought food because i have to eat and um this happened okay the torrential flooding now the car is in the shop the money this person has saved um it's a big number at the shop so we're going to be scraping it through driving back to my home base okay so i think that the trip uh, before christmas was to see where mom was living okay um this is not the first time they've been down there um but there are some connections from the job that live down there and that's a plus uh you know to me friends and strangers will do more for you than than your own okay i don't know if many of you have that experience or, or if they do connect with you it's nothing but problems okay they'll bring you headaches and problems and whatnot um when it comes to me it comes because there is a big necessity and ada will be there i don't care what it takes guys like i said if those immigrants that are taking over the schools right now and they're saying that they're going to be taking over their homes, which one of the runners um, said, if you have a home, take some home with, with you. What? We can barely take care of ourselves. Um, how the hell do we take care of strangers in your home? People who we don't know. You might have a, a cartel group staying in your home. So I read Elon Musk did say, and it's on the news, so it's nothing that I have to hide um, by YouTube for YouTube purposes. Um, they are taking over the schools. So they started already with some schools, okay, New York, New Jersey, and all over the places. Eventually, um, yeah, they're going to be knocking on your doors, okay? So, and, um, or you're going to be demanded to have them. Okay. I don't know what kind of law will come up that, you know, I don't know guys, but we all have to be prepared and ready 
So I don't, I'm not prepared and ready down at my home base, but I will, um, next month, I guess, okay, I will, um, stack up a little bit and, um, just to have, and I don't have to go anywhere because we don't know how far this is going to go. And it looks really bad. It looks really bad. And the one they are stepping on and stepping on and stepping on and stepping on and stepping on and, and trying to fuck him over, okay? Because they're inventing shit from the past, from this, from the that, from the this, from the that. And you know who I'm talking about? Um, I hope that this gets out of the out of the way because I don't know um, what. Uh, what uh, side of elections you favor, but I'm going to tell you right now, according to all that are, and what they've said, and even the one that I think earned 10 points in one of the states last night, um, it's nothing, okay? It's a low percentage, and already failed by the words said that jeopardizes the United States citizen. Increase of social security retirement age. Now, come on. Some people are already freaking tired at 60. Okay, then it was 62. I think now it's 67. So if somebody eats better than us and somebody has high class money to eat, you know, the the uh, dieting stuff and, and all of that stuff, um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not compared to the ones that are struggling, okay, trying to can this and can that and prep, you know, uh, it's nothing compared to that or, or everyone has a different style of cooking. We don't have it like that. So I don't understand how the billion people, billion dollar people, can tell us what to do, okay? They do what they want to do, and we are the middle class suffering. Taxes will be raised. Wages will be taken away to make up for this mess that's going on that we all know about. Now, to your homes, not my home, okay? Not my home. So, it's very sad, guys, and we need to turn this whole shit around. So, I hope y'all register to vote. Get out there and vote, okay? Or we are so lost if you do not. So, anyway, guys, um, uh, I did put a, a post on my community page. Can you please go check it out? Um... If you can help in any kind of way, guys, okay, just just this one time. Um, I have a long trip. Uh, I hope that on gas we'll make it to home base. Um, there is going to be, we are going to face, there is another storm coming tonight. They say 7 p.m. By 7 p.m., we got to be out of here. Hope, uh, uh, praying that God will, you know, this car can get um, brakes fixed and whatnot that is damaged. Um, that we can get at least past Virginia because of the snowstorm um, and the rainstorms with heavy winds. I will be in that. So I will be videoing a little bit as I can. And giving you updates on the weather as I can, okay? Um, excuse me, this is not the kind of trip that I t would do. But I am glad I did, okay? I'm glad I did. I'm glad it was able to happen. 89 bucks and I was here, okay? Um, and this is the uh, what, okay? Um, it's going on. Coffee on the mug. The old soul. I showed you one of Ada's um, uh, shit hit the fan situations. 
uh, bushcraft camping in a apartment okay you can make it happen um, heating source uh, uh, not prepared with fireplaces and stuff like that but you know mother nature you can't fight mother nature okay you have to fight for your life to survive make it through any which way if it takes a can uh, oh this is also handy because um, we got some soups canned soups and we warm canned soups okay yeah and you can also take the can and just put it on but you gotta you gotta work with the sticker to get the paper off but because this is 10 cups in a in a, in a box um, I have three out okay um, coffee so I use another one to pour into make my coffee drain my coffee and one to warm up soup so soup and uh, crackers um, is what okay uh, and oatmeal and uh, mini muffins okay we got some taco bells left from yesterday okay that was the cheapest thing that we could pick up the cheapest thing we can pick up guys is some taco bells okay so we got from the dollar menu the dollar 79 okay we um picked up some tacos so we still have one we have one for each okay yeah we got two so what I'm gonna do with this how am I gonna warm it up guys we got it um late last night because we ran the vehicle again to warm up you know make sure everything is working and uh, besides the brake issue the brakes, the brakes are okay it's just that the water damaged uh dirt and that uh brown water and whatever it is you know went into some of the brake system so that has to be replaced that was an unexpected expense you know so now we're like kind of short change but we're going as far as we can guys as far as we can and what i do with these to warm it up later i take aluminum foil okay this is, uh, thank god there's aluminum foil here there's aluminum foil and i'll give you a little demonstration of how to if you have if you don't have any other options then hold on guys i'm sorry about the camera guys you have to excuse me okay i apologize for that Okay, where is this? Those, those. Okay, if I can just keep this phone straight. I don't have a tripod. I don't have anything. Um, here we go. Okay, so we take the aluminum. Okay, this is uh, for the ones that don't know. And you might have a situation. Okay, you just take a piece of aluminum. Piece of aluminum, guys. You, this, these are on low, okay? The back ones are on very low. It turns on and off and on and off due to that the knobs are here. So be careful. If you do have to be in this situation. So you just place the uh, aluminum foil on the stove, one of the burners, and you unwrap, okay? You unwrap the, you unwrap the tacos and you place it on top okay um you don't have to wrap it you can just place it on top and it'll cook slowly warm up really good and then you can uh, remove the aluminum foil and remove with a, a spoon okay i have a spoon and you do have paper towels and you have you know it was from late last night but this is going to be our 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 munch uh and you know later on it's eight in the morning so we're saving it for, for later okay and um we'll pick up more tacos to take on the way for a dollar dollar 79 we'll pick up a couple of them uh to take on the road because we can't stop to eat every time that we get hungry okay so we'll have cold tacos we'll have cold tacos doesn't matter we have a case of uh juice okay and we have a case of water and the vehicle already no we don't uh it got some of the river flood water in the case itself so 
We threw it out. It's, you know, we throw it out. It's just full of germs. My sneakers are done. Okay, my sneakers are done. I'm wearing uh, someone else's uh, um, shoes that I don't fit because my foot is smaller. So when I walk, I, I, it seems like I'm going left and right trying to keep my balance. I went to the quick check yesterday, right be, uh, next to the Taco Bell to get some Advils. And uh, because I, I was, you know, walking, I was in pain. Okay, because getting little things uh, to stores, last last little things. Um, down the line, when things get situated, then uh, someone will pick up the stuff and take it down for the new relocation. Uh, they saw me limping and whatnot, and I was trying. I was gonna. There was a lady in front of me, right, and she opened the door. You know how you just open the door and just go like this, leave it, you know, hold it open, and the person behind you will hold the door, and they can get in? Well, this time, the lady ran in front of me. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, hold on. So she opened the door for me, Then the guy who was coming out, okay, he opened the door, and they started laughing. So you see what you got? You got double service. You got double service. A door. I said, man, oh, thank you. God bless both of you. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, I was in pain. But also my clogs weren't helping. These, these, these were not helping to keep to walk straight. So my sneakers are done. Um, it would never dry. There's nowhere to dry them. So uh, it's my old sneakers. Okay, I did bring old sneakers, and um, I need sneakers. So there is a pair of sneakers at Walmart for like twelve ninety nine something like that and I hope I'll be able to go pick them up to help drive uh, because this is not gonna kick it guys okay so let me get the aluminum foil out and you can't leave it for long in there because you see what it does it'll just make holes right through it okay just so you know so you can either I'd rather put it flat and not roll it because I don't know when it's hot and when it's not so guys, there's an example of a shit hit the fan situation and how you can probably make it work, okay? And you know, I gotta have that cup of coffee in the morning. So guys, I'll let you go with this and um, uh, I want you to go back to my community page and, uh, and read through it and you're gonna see what I had to swim through, okay? Um, Florida was cold, oh man, but dirty water, guys. So I took a bucket, filled it up with hot water and whatnot, and I washed with, I took, I took a, I poured water over me, but the tub is clogged up, water is not working, pipes are frozen, the boiler is also frozen, uh, flooded, okay, and that's been on like that for four months. So for four months, using a sink or the gym for ten dollar membership to so because I'm here, we do the same thing, okay. So with that water, me swimming in that water, um, I got a little little bucket and put, you know. Um, the hot water from the sink and uh, a little bit of bleach in the water man I was scrubbing my, 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 my feet with a scrub brush okay oh yeah getting get my toes and my feet and everything and my and scrubbing my whole body okay with 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 a little bit of bleach in the water because that water contains a lot of germs so and then redo it again with soap and water Okay, guys, so thank you for watching the video. Um, hope you learned something from here, and I hope that your support will start coming in so that today, uh, uh, maybe an hour, two, three hours, maybe uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's about 9.30 now. Um, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, guys, uh, we are on 
on route um, going south and uh, to my home base and um, and I need you to keep me updated on the weather please please I don't care if it's through my Gmail um, on a comment okay on a comment please I will be if I'm not driving uh, I will be going through my 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 the messaging your comments of this trip. Okay, I haven't been answering the comments that you put on that I have not seen yet. I apologize again, guys. Uh, emergencies do happen. You don't have time to really explain at the moment. You just got to do so. Y'all haven't seen me for a week. Janice Knight, easy girl. I'm fine. Um, thank God. Okay, <laughs> that border. Oh man, it was scary. Okay, it was scary. I will make a video of that later. But I will leave you a screenshot. Of, and pay attention to that screenshot. The water that you're going to see in front of the screenshot. And, you, and please take a look on the stairway. Away from the stairway, up further. That's the road. Okay, that's the road. And... Right next to the vehicle um, is the Raritan River. And there is a house uh, further, okay? Beautiful house because when I got here, I, I, everything is beautiful. But now, all you see is the house and some water around a piece of land, okay, guys? That water just gushed in here and on the road and all over and down, okay, from all directions because Robertson River runs from New York uh, through uh, through um, the east, the coastal line of New York and New Jersey, inland, all the way down to central Florida and even west, I mean central Florida, central New Jersey and central uh, west of New Jersey in all directions okay so yes it floods and with this rain coming tonight we will we don't we're not gonna be here okay to get that second see that I've never guys I've never seen that in my life okay I know that rivers flow I seen disasters where rivers are over flooded in other areas but guys and around me to see it with my own eyes? Never. Never. Okay? Never. So, this was shocking. This was very shocking. And if I had not flown, this situation would continue. And God knows. Okay? If Ada had to make a trip that no person wants to make a trip um, for a certain reason. Okay, guys? So, like I said, I am on a mission to a rescue. Because these instincts never fail, guys. So, I'm asking for your help. I need, um, I am going to upload a post I uh, that I headed out. You'll know I'm not here. Uh, we're not here. And we're going to be on the road. Okay, so from the time I make that second post, community page, guys, please, anybody living on the East Coast, okay, close to I-95 or surrounding areas that involve I-95, please put in your comments on, on this video, okay, so, uh, or, or, or the post. Um, uh, you know what? Once, once I make a video, uh, once I create a post, I am headed out of New Jersey. Um, please leave the comments there because that's the, that's where I'm going to be stay tuned to. Um, for the ones that are going to let me know what is the weather? Is it windy? Because high winds are going to hit uh, from Virginia on up. Florida is drenched, torrentially raining right now. I got that notification. Um, uh, for my son, my youngest one, and uh, I need y'all guys, okay? So if you live in the Virginia, uh, the Carolinas, Georgia, um, entering Florida, Jacksonville, that area, okay? Please 
once I you see that post that I am out of Brighton, New Jersey, um, you will know that eight is on the road. Okay, I am on the road. So prayers, guys, prayers for our travel, safety travel, and please leave comments on that so that I can stay tuned of what's coming ahead. I downloaded an app. Um, that lets you know two hours ahead of time what the weather is ahead. I never used it. Uh, I was recommended through some news channel to follow the weather on the road or something like that I saw. So I did it. And I hope it does work. Okay. Because on the ratings, it, it, some said that it worked on January 10. Someone posted that it worked beautifully and whatnot and whatnot. But then another one said, oh, I, 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 I use it for two, a day and then they wanted me to pay a subscription. So I hope that doesn't happen and it will alert me. Um, and uh, I don't have the NOAA radio with me, but I have to download. Oh, I have it downloaded to my phone also. So this app is supposed to give me alerts ahead. Okay. My phone will alert me of that app of what's going on two hours ahead from where I'm at. Uh, talking about tornadoes, torrential rains down from the Carolinas to Florida. Guys, I will be in that track about the time that it starts down, you know, down there. So please go to my community page. And if I don't look at your comments today, I will look at it because uh, in a bit I'm, um, I'm going to now start putting the little bags by the door. Just clothing, a little bit of clothing, and then we're going to make a spot in the back of the vehicle to, to lay down. If we have to hunker down because a tornado wants somewhere, wherever we may be, it will be at one of those uh, gas stations that's close to the wall of a gas station, right? That's what I hear. Um, and God is... Uh, hands on the wheel and you are my prayers and and notifications as my road mappers okay guys thank you so much uh, for watching Banny with Ada's channel and uh, I didn't think that I would ever make a video like this but this is it okay so I will get to your comments previous of the day once I get to a home base all right, guys, and safety. And you will see, if you see any videos come up, it's because that's where I'm at. And that's what's happening. If something is happening, I will record it. If it's torrential rain that we can't see, uh, we're going to pull over, uh, write it out, and I will upload, okay, as I travel along. So, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I love you dearly, all of you. And um, I will stay connected from, from here to home base. All right, guys? So thank you so much, guys, and um, please go to my community page and um, and see, okay, that photo. And let me see if I could throw the screenshot in here. So you're going to look um, towards um, up to past my, my, my knees, practically up to my thighs, and uh, you're going to see the other part, which is the road. Okay, and this is a main road. This is a main highway, okay? This is a main highway, guys, okay? It's not like just any roadside street. This is a main avenue in this gorgeous town, okay? But these towns are closer to more country than city. This is not city area. This is more of small community. Not small, it's big community, but... You know, one of those well, house here and a house down there, another house further up, and you got the trees, okay, and there is no uh, lightings. Then you get to uh, shopping centers and stuff like that, and from there, you, there's more highways all over the place. The whole place got flooded, okay, guys? And uh, thank God that we got through that. So we lost a case of water, and the car's in the shop. So hopefully, I don't know, but go to my community page, whatever you can help Ada, Ada with. I truly will appreciate this one, okay, so that I can um, be safer and 
if I have to buy to eat something warm and hot, um, it, it's, it's available. So, guys, thank you again. And um, everybody be safe wherever you may be at in different states because I know that a lot of y'all live up this way in, in Western um, and upstate. And um, you're going to get that snowstorm on next Tuesday. So I will be praying for y'all also next Tuesday. Please keep me updated on the storm, okay, to all, all, my, all my, my YouTube family, okay, wherever you may be, okay, guys? I know some of you in Ohio, Chicago, Philadelphia, uh, Missouri, um, uh, Arkansas, uh, Texas, um, and Virginia. Okay, um, uh, I have I have my members are practically from all over the states. Please be safe, okay? Please be safe and be prepared with heating sources because upstate New York. 27,000 people had no electricity for a day and a half in the freezing cold. And temperatures in upstate are colder than down here um, in central New Jersey and eastern New Jersey. All right, guys? So love you all, guys, and I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching and um, counting on y'all. Keep me safe on the road. Keep me notified. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, that is the uh, Robertson River behind those trees. Okay, you see where that rail is? That is the Robertson River. And it over flooded towards the properties next door. Beautiful properties. And it just dragged everything along with it. There you see the wooded area behind that vehicle. That's the Robertson River, guys. I think there's a rail right there in the back if you can see it. See that rail on the bottom? That's the river. And all this here was flooded to the T past my knees. And it dragged all this garbage. All this garbage, guys. And the wind. Everything came this way. Okay, it knocked down everything. Okay, the force of the water was as high as the dumpster. And the vehicle was sitting right here. Okay, guys, as you can see, that the ground is still wet. All right, guys. So, water went all the way. Oh, is that a leaf? What the heck is that? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a leaf. I don't know what the heck it is, but I ain't touching it. <laughs> um, guys, we are blessed. Okay, we are blessed, guys. Um, the road. This is a main avenue. This is a main avenue, guys. Main, main, main avenue. Wow, this is drenched over here still. Dragged all that garbage, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's the main avenue. You can see the traffic just fly by. Okay, that's the main big highway. As you can see, the road. And as you can see, how high the water went. Um, very high. The basement was flooded. The basement was flooded. Um... The water was uh, up to that level right there, okay? That level right there, guys. So, there it is, guys. Green line. And it looks like before that, a couple of more uh, floods were higher than that. So, this is the case of water we took out of the vehicle um, due to the fact that it has brown water in it and we don't, you know, we ain't got time to be washing it. We do have another case upstairs. And uh, all this here, guys, was flooded. All of this here was flooded. Now this chick with this car here, she uh, 
is blowing up the phone to let us know that uh, move your vehicle. But we didn't hear the phone. We didn't hear the phone. So I want to give you a look. This whole thing here was covered. Um, so you'll see the picture. You see the look how high and the water was very high. Now this is the main road guys. This is the main road. And it was up to that mailbox. As you can see, people keep uh, safety boats. This plastic safety boats. Or is that a cover to somebody's top roof? I don't know, to the, their vans. You can see uh, trash that people had to get rid of. It was really bad, guys. It was really bad. So I'm going to try to zoom that when you go up that road, up that road, see the, that's where the Riverton Road, uh, River is. You see those rails? Where are we? Where about the cam, guys? Let's see. Cam going up there. Once you start going up that hill, there are rails. See where that car's coming? Well, right there is the Riverton River. That's the rail to the river. That's the bridge to the river. Okay, guys? That's the bridge. That's the bridge. Right where that car, all the way in the front, is going up. That's the bridge of the river. Okay, and it came crashing down all the way to the back and to the front. So even those rocks across the street did not stop anything. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later on the journey south.